Merry vibes to you, my friends. True Bryant here. Good, good morning. I help you discover inner wealth so you can attract outer wealth. Whew. Let's get into it. So today, I'm really, really excited to share some of what I'm learning about life, about relationship health, about emotional intelligence, inner peace, and the like. And I want to share this with you, kind of what I've been doing. So something I've been doing is I've been asking and engaging, asking questions, engaging with people over social media, especially around mental health in the Christian circles, in the Christian groups, Christian mental health. And then on the other side, also been engaging with internal family systems, Facebook groups, uh, Instagram, areas like that, conversations like that. And I asked a few questions in both of these groups. I asked one question to the IFS group, internal family systems, and it got about 80 comments. And then I asked another question to the Christian Mental Health Group, and it got about 60 comments. And there was a good, good, healthy discussion going on. And they all had to do with, what do you see is the main struggle for Christians in American culture? And why do you love internal family systems the best? Or why do you feel that it's the best modality for healing? So I was interested to see, one, if there was interest, and there was massive interest, decent interest. And so reading through both of them, I was able to see from above, as it were, the commonalities and the contrasts between what I was receiving for comments and engagement, what people were concerned about, what people want to know more about, and what people really are passionate about and are finding results from. So in both the Internal Family Systems group and the Christian Mental Health group, I was able to see a cool contrast and comparison. And I want to share these results with you and offer my own thoughts for your increased dream and vision to be manifested, to be shown into your experience. So the life you prefer. So let's get to it, right? In the IFS group, in the IFS group, we had basically, why do you think that internal family systems is the best modality? And some people said it's not, some, some things are better, but many of them said the common thread in that theme was the ability of the self to heal. So capital S self, the self in internal family systems is our core. It's the core of who we really are, pure, unstained, unabused, eternal, deathless, all those amazing divine traits. And that is the self. And when we live in the self, we can have compassion on the multiplicity of parts that are always giving us voices and different opinions and actually guiding our behavior, however unconsciously or consciously. So the main thread and, and engagement that I got from the Internal Family Systems group was, I love IFS because it shows us the power of self-compassion and the ability of the person to heal themselves. And that's interesting especially when we consider that in light of the Christian Mental Health Group. And the Christian Mental Health Group, most of the comments to my question, you know, what's the biggest struggle of being a Christian in America? The biggest engagement was, and theme that I saw in the comments was, well, there's polarization, which by the way, is a very big term in internal family systems. It's a very big and prominent term that is used in that modality of therapy. And so when someone said in the Christian group, there's polarization, there's too many denominations of churches, there's uh, too much division, difference of opinion, different theologies, there's something like 35,000 plus different Protestant denominations of Christianity since the Reformation. So they were all saying something along the lines of, there's too much division and not enough unity. Right? That's what I could hear through the whole comment thread. Right? And isn't it interesting to compare and contrast? Because we have human beings in both groups who are looking to feel happier, to feel connected in their relationships even deeper, and to feel like their meaning is satisfied in their lives. So a beautiful view into human psychology and what we really want. And a few of the things that I came away with from this experiment were the first thing was, we really have to learn to listen and speak 
below our binaries. We have to learn how to speak below our mental um, division between this opinion and that opinion. Not hard enough on sin, too lazy around sin. Pornography, sex outside of marriage, people don't take Jesus seriously enough, people take it too fundamentalist and too seriously. All kinds of back and forth binary that is a loop in itself. And then in the IFS side, we have people wanting to reside in the self more often, because that's the goal. We want to live in self. We want to be compassionate, curious, confident, all the things that IFS tells us about who we really are. And then we have these other parts that are polarized within IFS. So we go inside, become Christ as it were, Christ who went to the, to the widows and the orphans, Christ who hung out with the prostitutes, the lowest of society. And in the same way, in internal family systems, we are taking on the robe of Christ, you could say, or taking on this role for ourselves of Savior. Now, I don't want to be heretical, but at the same time, I like to push the edges. And maybe you do too. So, when we adopt this be as I am that Christ is speaking about within the Christian circle, and then we embody it and act it out in the IFS circle, and we do this one-on-one, -on -one, let's say, in a circle, or one-on-one -on -one with a private counselor, or a coach, or any, any, any person you choose, we go in and we find our own metaphorical widows and orphans, the parts of ourselves that we haven't integrated. And this, my friends, is actually why both groups, both of us, all of us, myself included for sure, still don't feel whole sometimes. So this is why you still might not feel whole or inner peace as much as you want to, because we're all still subject in different intensities to being caught up on the top of the ocean. I love metaphors. Rather than sinking down into the ocean, sinking down into the deep waters, who we really are. So can you see the comparison between the engagement and the content of the Christian discussion around mental health, which is, well, the problem is that we're too polarized. We have too much duality. We all have different opinions, and underneath all that, I heard them saying, there's not enough unity. I want to feel like we're one. And then in the IFS, I'm depolarized. I'm still struggling with loneliness, depression, anxiety. I have a part of me that, whatever, wants to do this, and that's not good. And we all want to feel whole. So both groups want to feel whole, regardless of their religious bend or opinion. So what's the commonality? The commonality is that we want peace. How do we do that? The first thing is we have to learn how to speak and listen to ourselves below the duality of opinions, of right and wrong, of saved and righteous, of saved and damned, of righteous and sinner. And in the IFS circle, between parts and self, between victim and self, between exile, wounded parts and self. So we are both playing an interesting game. We're playing the game of the two and the one, the two and the one. And we're constantly vacillating back and forth. It's a mystery being a human being. So I invite you to have compassion on yourself. Because as we're learning, as I learned today in the last couple days, we both want the common thread, which is inner peace. We want inner peace, not only with ourselves, but with the people around us. But it starts with ourselves. I love when Christ says, don't you know that it is written, you are gods? And elsewhere he writes, you will do greater things than I. When he withers the fig tree and they're astounded. He says, chill, chill, bro. You're going to do greater things than me. I'm just tapped in. That's what he says. I'm just tapped in. And when you get tapped in to inner peace, when you get tapped into unity in the Christian language, when you get tapped into self in the IFS language, you're living eternal life. 
you're saved. You're experiencing salvation. And in IFS, you're experiencing self. You're experiencing eternity in the present moment. It's always now. It's always now. <laughs> I'm really curious about your thoughts, and I really hope that the comment section explodes. Either way, I really, really want to get this to you, and I'm excited to share this with you. Please let me know your thoughts, opinions, feelings, perspectives. How am I wrong? How am I right? You see the game we're playing? How am I wrong? How am I right? <laughs> and at the end of the day, I love you. God bless you. Whatever you believe, however you're going on your journey, I send you love, the love that I have, the peace that I have. I want to radiate it to you, and it's done. It's done. I love you, brothers and sisters. Okay? Comment below, thoughts and feelings. Let me know. Remember, you don't have business or relationship problems. You don't. It's just personal challenges that need to be addressed. And then those other two areas will effortlessly flow. Because that's who you really are. Flow. So, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.